Hello. Jack, there you are. Hey. Oh, wow. That, 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 that was quick. Hey, we're just we're going right into it tonight. I'm there's no time to play around. Absolutely. That sounds perfect to me. Look at this. First one in. Dylan, God, I love it. Boy. I love it. Let's go. Let's go Dylan. Poo -poo. I love it. Let's just let's let's just go with that. Did I forget? Hold on a second. Did I did I hold on? Did you not run did your, I forget? You did I do. Not run your ad rolls. No, no, I, I didn't need to. Uh, I didn't need to, I didn't need to roll my, uh, what do you call it? Oh, I wasn't, si I'm not signing to stream elements. No wonder. Amateur hour. Stream elements. There you go. Where are you? Um, okay, actually. My bot should show up. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> I was like, it should, yeah, show up eventually. So, yes, okay. I, I'll, I'll go ahead and explain this since Dylan's already asked. Uh, everybody, I'm on vacation. Um, I'm in... Uh, Durham, North Carolina, visiting family. So yes, again, I'm in a different area since obviously new headset, new mic, new background, new camera. So, but I guys, comment comment on his mic. Doesn't his mic actually like sort of sound better? <laughs> does my mic sound better? Let me know. It I sounds like better than it normally does, does, I think. <laughs> oh gosh, don't even get me started. Oh golly. Anyway, I just think bit. it does. Okay. I think it sounds more full, man. Hey, if it does, it doesn't. The I might have to ask my dad. We might have to, we might have to tweak your mic settings a little bit, man. And figure, it, figure it out. He sounds better. He sounds oh, better. Yeah. Like, see what I'm oh, saying? No. I told you, man. <laughs> it sounds more, it sounds more bassy and more full. Like, I feel like the mic you have at home has a little more treble and high, like high end sound. And it doesn't have like any bass to it. True. So just so yeah. everybody knows, this is the little thing I'm using. But it sounds good. <laughs> and I don't care what it is. It sounds better. Just this little thing. Hey, we have Josh. There you go, buddy. Obviously, uh, you know, Josh is probably in the bathroom, as he always is. It might be the location. Hey, it could be. could hey, be the room, too. It could be helping. You never know. Never, you never, there is a lot of soundproof panels against the walls. Who knows? Could be, could be, the, could be the room. Could be the room. Anyway, Jack, why don't you just introduce yourself and uh, head right into it. Explain, All right. explain the situation. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jack. I am a Twitch streamer. Uh, hopefully, uh, YouTube comes along more. We're going to be doing some vlogs and things like that for the near future. That's what we hope. And um, we are here for the Tech Podcast number 11. Hope you all enjoyed the last one for number 10. Uh, we have a great podcast for you guys. We're going to be talking about a lot of uh, Christmas tech things that we got for Christmas, as well as some couple of tech deals, maybe even some new Tarkov, because we got a lot to talk about there. Yeah, as far as is on the gaming side of things, for sure. Exactly. Yeah, we, a game we both play. <laughs> and we'll be playing after this. And, we'll, and, we'll and we'll be playing after this, yes. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, well, uh, my name is Ricky, RA Visuals for the internet people. Uh, all of you are internet people right now, actually. But anyway, people on the internet, that's what they see me as. But anyway, uh, yeah, I'm also a, uh, for if you guys, if there's, if there's people in here that don't know who I am, I just, yeah, I'm a YouTuber and a streamer, sort of. I'd say I'm more of a YouTube content creator, cr streamer as well, than a streamer. I'm not a full-time streamer or anything, but I streamer like to do it. Side. And I like to do, I like to do this uh, tech podcast uh, because it's, it's a lot of fun to talk about tech, first of all. And two, it's, it's really cool to interact with you guys and get your guys' opinions while we do that. So. That's why uh, Jack want to, and I want to do this in the first place, but yeah, we have a uh, we have a lot of tech miss is what I call it, tech miss things to talk about. Um, Absolutely, we just had Christmas and the, and the holidays period. Black Friday happened, Christmas happened, so I'm sure not even just us. I'm sure some of you guys out there got some really cool tech things for the holidays. We want to know about it. If you guys got something really awesome, throw it in the chat. We want to know about it. Let us let us know what you guys got. Um, but let's see. Uh, do, you, do you just want to go right into it, Jack? Do you want to just go into starting like with what what you got? Do you want to start with yours? Uh, do you want to go like one thing at a time? Like I do one, you do one. We can. I mean, I personally, I didn't really get anything for Christmas. Oh, come on. I, I am a I am a parent. I bought my daughter things. So like, well. I the, the things that I got, I bought for myself so i'll like i'll i'll sort of interject those in there yeah okay. i bought some All stuff right. for myself that's kind of cool and i may okay. have to actually run upstairs to go grab one of them because 
you guys don't know about this yet, but I, I, we talked about it in the last podcast and I, this is how fast I am. I already talked about it and I'm already going. So anyway, go ahead. So for the first thing that, we, cause I got my little wall here of everything we got. I like that. First up, thankfully from a micro center, we got a stream deck mini. Nice. This is going to be amazing for streaming for me personally, uh, help with my setup. And I think it'll add like a cool little aesthetic look to it. It does. Um, and Jack, when oh you yeah. uh, when you set that thing up, let me know because I have a little I may I, I wonder if I can just copy it and give it to you. I have these RGB like colored widgets like, oh, that dude, go around them and you can change whatever colors you want and they move like it's like rgb oh, that flows through it bro that would look so sick yeah you let got, me know you when you set it up I, I i bought it but like i'll, I'll just give it to you because i think i can just share it with you honestly i don't think it really that matters well heck i'm pretty sure you can, can use it too uh, yeah. dylan has a you great question it. the total price was 80 dollars. it was on sale for a stream deck mini Indeed. yep nice um nice Michael has a question That's as cool. well, if you would like to. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll get your question. Get Michael, where there it is. Uh, yes, let's put that on there. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas, Michael. Merry Christmas. Uh, is the i5-12400F an RTX 3050 good budget gaming PC? Yes. I actually did an entire video on that exact setup, and I have a... a oh, it's, it's in the other room. I have a PC with that, those exact specs in it sitting in the other room. Uh, but what I would tell you, Michael... Instead of the 3050, unless you are an NVIDIA person and you really want to go with an NVIDIA card, I would tell you, save some money and buy an RX 6600 or a 6600 XT. I saw um, 6650 X XTs at Best yeah. Buy recently for like 350, 330. So you can still you can still get 6650s for around the $300 mark mm -hmm. in places. But the 6600 XTs are actually going on sale, and I've noticed those for like 280. 280, exactly. Get, yes. Yeah, and 3050s are still 300 bucks or more all the time. Like they're um, all the time. So I would just tell you that because mm -hmm. a 6600, 100, yes, it can. It can do 6600 XT. You can definitely do 1440p. The the normal 6600 can do 1440p. I tested it myself. I also have a video on that if you mm -hmm. want proof. It's in my it's in my Ooh. recent videos. Yeah. Um. Which I can add a little bit to about the 3050. It, it's it's a great card. Don't get me oh, wrong. It really is. It's got it's, the newest it's, DLSS. It's totally fine. Yeah. Um. Uh, I even built somebody a build recently uh, with a 3050 and yep. a Ryzen 5 5600X. Uh, the 3050 ran perfect for like lower end games, but especially once you get into those higher titles, 1440p tends to struggle a little bit more. And for it's sure. getting around like the 40 to 50 ish FPS. Yeah. Well, yeah, whereas, I know 6650 yeah. or so yeah, 6600 is always mm -hmm. above the 60 range. Yeah. Even even just the the normal non XT, it still can get above 60 in almost any trip all, all the AAA titles right now. Well, all the ones I tested, even even Tarkov, mm -hmm. even even if Tarkov, Tarkov you well. can get above above 60 FPS in 1440. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a great honestly, they're very they're underrated awesome cards, man, and and you can get them for such yeah. good prices. That's why Jack and I harp on them all the time, but they're mm -hmm. it's just such a good deal. But yeah, I mean, no, you know, no worries if you if you want to get an Nvidia card because like I understand I have Nvidia cards in both my rigs, but like you know, sometimes you got to get you got to give Radeon a chance sometimes. But you do, you do. like they 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 work. Mm -hmm. They work. Absolutely. They work and they're cheaper. Um G Monkey, what's up? How's it going? Um, Colton got uh, a tenth test, gen oh, testness. IPad. Testness, you got a you got an iPad. Nice. What are you That's doing with the I iPad, got. Testness? What are you doing? He's probably playing Mobile Rocket League or something. Mobile COD. Roblox. Ro he playing Roblox. Ro Roblox. <laughs> Roblox. You want to see my iPad? Check this out, dude. It's not an iPad either. It's a freaking. It's a Dragon Touch. Your dragon. <laughs> I got this for free to do a video on it like three years ago and I still this is the only tablet I ever use because I don't really use tablets angry birds but I occasionally I, I angry birds there you go that's what I was thinking Jack's oh. friend Dylan changed my changed perfect he changed <laughs> his name back yeah that there you go <laughs> nice um next up on my list for good old Christmas presents we mm -hmm. got the Ryzen 7 5800x i finally have it in hand my pc is ready to go at my house cpu has already been taken out it's actually in the newest build that i've built um but i can't wait to play this because 
Uh, I don't know if you've seen recently, but the Ryzen 7 5800X, in terms of overclocking, is mm -hmm. the third best chip you can get right now. Nice. You go above. Uh, four so gigahertz. are you going? Are you going to overclock it? Yes, and the reason why nice. is because my brother has already done that, and he has it stable, and he already knows exactly what voltage like he knows the settings. Like, okay. Okay. Yes, Hell I, yeah. He's gonna come over and do it for me. So. So if you if yours perfect. is binned similarly, then you should be able to just plug and play the same settings exactly hopefully yes. hopefully hopefully that is the, that is the question because Cause a lot of times a lot of times those settings like you can google it too but like a lot of times the settings they'll always say this is a guide like yeah it, you know you never know your chip could be like the low you could have gotten the low silicon lottery but mm -hmm. who knows hopefully which, you didn't which i'm hoping but he's there to help me so i'm excited no, um, i have a really no. good aio i have the msi aio ready yep. to go um so i'm excited cool. it's uh it, this is gonna be nice this is gonna be a big upgrade for sure absolutely absolutely yeah man that'll be awesome um, yeah that's that's one of those uh did you get the free game with it by the way i did i got the yeah. uh dead island 2 and um shoot what's what was the other game i think it came uh with. callisto protocol yes yeah i, I actually that. just yesterday when i was testing uh the pc i think it's behind me here that one uh, when I was testing that, I finally got it to I got I redeemed it, dude. It did some weird stuff to me. Their their redemption thing. Yeah. Um. I my brother got the exact same CPU as me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um. And it, it uh, AMD kept saying that they don't do it, and they he has to ask Best Buy. So we went to oh. Best Buy and asked them, and they were like, "No, you have to ask AMD and just show them the receipt." And yeah. we had to do a bunch of like back and forth, and they finally was just like, "Okay, here's your code. Just and have AMD it." Yeah. So. Well, mine, I had I, I had to do their uh, the product verification tool. So like, you have to actually like run their their little tool thing in a system that has the purchased like item in it. So like I had of course built I had to put the the graphics card in that PC and then use their product verification tool to mm -hmm. show that I have the card in it so that I can like get my games or whatever. But Absolutely. after I did it, I entered my code and their little thing said uh, there is no more tickets available. Like it's like it, it like made it sound like they ran out of games to give me or something. The game ran out of like game like free games to give me or something. So I had to, I had to send them an email. Or like a support ticket and say that it was giving me this error message and of course they got right back to me though and it and made it and made it work so i don't know i don't well, know what happened there at least it's fixed and i got it so i i did get both my games which was which was nice well that's good um yep. so i got so i guess i guess i got those for christmas there you go i can say that true you did get honestly that entire pc back there i guess was a christmas present to myself to make content with and then sell it afterwards that's probably gonna, what i'm gonna i mean let's get real that's probably what i'm gonna do with it gonna make some money on the yeah, side yeah I like as, as i'm honestly i have i have i think three pcs that i'm just sitting on that i'm waiting for the new year to start and i'm just mm -hmm. gonna get rid of them then i'm like when people are ready they got the money ready you know they're like maybe they got christmas money whatever they're ready mm -hmm. to do yeah, something new wrong. i'm just gonna put them out there on the market that, you know honestly let it happen like let it happen so, uh, jo Ricky knows what I got. Yeah, I know what you got, Josh. Oh, goodness. Josh is part of the Manscaped family now. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Yep, yep. His balls will be very happy. <laughs> Josh, a funny story. I actually got a new one for Christmas, too. Mine, my old one that they gave me for doing that ad and whatnot actually stopped working. It broke finally. Which, How I mean, I guess it lasted two years, but I mean, something like, yeah, two, maybe one and a half, two years, something like, whatever it was. But yeah. It would just it would just charge and then it wouldn't work anymore. Like the motor broke or something on it. Uh oh. So my wife got me a new one for Christmas. You got the 4.0. That's the one I got too, Josh. Got the newest one. You guys yep. are manscape buddies. We are. We are. <laughs> hey, dude, you gotta take care of your balls, man. It's important. It's, a, it's about as important as drinking water. Chat. Everybody drink water. It's good for you. Or coke. That's fine too. Don't do coke though. Stop that. Stop. Don't don't do coke. Drink coke. Jack, stop and stop being a bad influence on these kids, okay? Sorry, my fault. A younger audience also. My wife is currently sending me. By the way, she's sending me. She does this all the time. She knows I'm down here streaming, and she's sending me listings for houses. She does this all the time. She's oh, constantly scrolling Zillow, looking for new houses all the time. Are you moving? No, I mean no. no she's just <laughs> always shopping. I, I, like she doesn't shop for like PC parts like I do. She shops for houses. 
Like that's, you know what I'm saying? No, you want to talk about a way to waste your money. Um, you, you got to be careful. You got to be yeah. careful, Ricky. I mean, owning, owning property, owning property is a good thing, but yes, it, it, that's a good way to get, get a lot of money, you know, gone. Do tell me want, want to do, oh my God. What, what? <laughs> we got some, uh, grammar. Do tell me want to do. Hmm. We got some grammar. It looks like we need to, uh, I'm trying to decipher this to see if I can figure out what he's trying to say. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell probably. Yeah. Don't tell me what to do. Did oh, you, did you forget? Did you forget a type of letter? <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, don't tell you what to do. Okay, fine. Don't drink water. Fine. fine. Don't, don't give your body what it, you know, naturally needs do coke. all the time. And do coke, whatever. I didn't, I didn't mean that. Don't do that. Please don't. Please, YouTube, don't. No, no, nobody do that. Um, anyway, I'm trying to think of another thing I got for Christmas. Let me, let me think. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I didn't really get like, so, okay. So like, let's get real. Like what I actually got for Christmas, like. I didn't really get much tech. I got like, uh, I got dad things. I got a set of tools. Did Jack, you get this some what, socks? Listen, this, yes, this is what yeah. happens. This is what happens when you're like, when you're old, man. So like, uh, my, my mother-in-law, although she, they're, the socks are really, really sick. They're high, they're high socks and they, uh, they got really cool designs on them. So you can wear them with like a suit and stuff. And they, they're like, they're really, really cool looking. I um, got burger. I got burger yeah. socks. You got what socks? Burger socks. Are those the thing? And it's like no, it's like burgers on it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just I, like mine have uh, what the f what what design was that? I can't remember what the design. It was really cool looking though, but yeah, it was something like that. It was like some really funny looking like high socks or whatever. But I like I them a lot. It. I got some clothes. I got uh, yeah, got some got some socks. I got uh, a tool set. My dad got me a tool set because he was my secret Santa. It was a bunch of tools. That, the stuff I actually need, though. Like, I was working on my car the other day, and I couldn't find my damn ratchet I needed. He got me a new tool set. That's That, that made it happen, so. That's the way to do it, though. Yeah. Sometimes you just need that kind of stuff. So. Anyway. What, do you, what, what, what else did you get, Jack? You got more? Well, this isn't for me, um, but I can put it on here. Okay. Um, I have been testing out the Logitech G435s. We talked about this actually on a tech podcast, I believe, in the Weird. past. Weird. Me too. Yeah. So, uh, okay. <laughs> so I got... I bought uh, these for myself for Christmas. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. um, I got these for my sister because... Yeah. Uh, my, well, my sisters, it's two of them. Uh, and they... I got them a PC, and we will be talking about this in one of our segments, but uh, yep. they didn't have a headset that would work with the PC. They At Best Buy, they're normally $80, and they were on set, and I got these puppies for 30 bucks. Yep. Nice, dude. So, you got, you got them for, they must have put them on sale again. That's what I got mine for. Yeah. So, no, this was definitely a deal, and I'll go ahead and say right now, maybe not the microphone is the best, because uh, it tends to cut out Yeah. from what I've been hearing whenever I play with people, but the sound is really actually nice. Yep. I use mine I with lie. my uh with my living room setup upstairs. Um uh, my TV, like oh, yeah. when I want to game on my on my my big TV upstairs. Uh and I like played a lot of the like Call of Duty campaign on my TV with them. Mm -hmm. And it sounded really good. Yeah, I got to say I, it I'm sounds not, really I'm nice. I might have to get me a pair for like travel or something like that. They're, like, the, and the and the thing is they're really small and light. Like they're very little. Oh yeah. So like when I first got them, I first got them out of the box, I'm like, oh my god, this is like a child's headset. But then like you put them on though, it's like it it almost like it doesn't it doesn't need to be any bigger. That's the whole thing. Like it doesn't need to be. Oh, that's what it's all about. You know, it works. It, like it works, I know. That's works. why I use in-ears. These are tiny and they sound exactly. amazing. Exactly. Um yep. you already know the final two things that I got, which I can very quickly show off. Um Go for it. We got I got the uh, glorious Model D wireless. I'm charging it right now for whenever we play games, obviously. But very nice. Very nice mouse. I got it on sale for $53 at Best Buy again. Best mm -hmm. Buy, for some reason, decided to not uh, go expensive for once. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's nice of them. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, nice of them. And then I built my own keyboard. Uh, I got the glorious uh, coiled cable, uh, the Nebula version, and I can show off the keyboard as well very quickly with the cable if it show if it wants to cooperate so you know obviously it it, it looks pretty good i can't lie so hell yeah I, I would say i did a good job on my first ever it looks nice it looks nice 
Wait, what what keycaps did you get? Brown. No, no, keycaps. Like what's oh, on the top? Yeah. Oh. You got brown switches. We know that. So he's part of that, guys. He's part of the tactile gang now, which is great. I'm glad he understands. I got these bad boys right here. So, yeah, you got the yeah the pink the pink like neon wave one. Ah, yeah, I got I got the whole yeah. I got the uh, whole nebula the nebula. Oh set. my god, this thing is heavy. Oh, it's hard to even grab with one hand. I have these ones. The I did see those. The forest so, ones. Yeah, that's a good Tarkov yeah. keyboard. I love this keyboard. I actually, you know what? I might actually use this one right now. <laughs> I might change it up for gaming because I actually like this keyboard a lot. And it's uh, got another set of uh, linear switches that I really like as well. Oh, my camera is shaking. Sorry, guys. Oh my. My bad. Too. My bad. Um. Yeah. So, dude. Let me. Um. I, what did I get? Honestly, like I said. Not much, not much tech for me, because I, because I, because I just buy what I want. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. There is something that I did get. There is. Okay. And it's upstairs. Okay. Do I? Should I go get it? Yes. I, you I'll, might. You guys I'll, will I'll probably love. Everybody. You guys will probably love this. You will. Okay. And I, I, I went and bought this myself because I had to have it, and I got a lot more stuff for it coming. I'll be right back. All right. Sounds good. Sounds Jack, good. take it away. Okay. Um, so now this is the awkward moment where I get left behind, as you guys can tell, whenever I'm supposed to talk about stuff, but like you guys shoot as many questions and let's see if we can, um, overwhelm Ricky with the amount of questions and the amount of comments. I, I want everybody to pitch in a little bit, if at all possible. Um, but, uh, something else that I can talk about while Ricky is gone, hopefully not too fast. He comes back, but I got a new pair of AirPods as my final thing uh that i got for christmas my old ones broke so i had to buy new ones so obviously um i you, you got to get new airpods because whenever you are a high school student getting ready for college you want to be able to walk the halls and not talk to anybody um but yes hi josh man i've, I've missed you josh i'm not gonna lie i i miss I, I miss talking to you i look forward to every single day when the tech podcast is here and i get to talk to you can't lie not saying that my my viewers aren't good but you know i got an eight terabyte external hard drive to back up my videos i wish i had that you want to know why i don't do youtube it's that right there the storage issue thankfully though i bought myself recently a 500 gigabyte uh ssd so hopefully uh that'll help with the videos i will be doing which i'll be doing vlogs within the new year uh like day in the life's stream days uh things like that um and i can actually go i don't know if ricky wants me to tell everybody this but i think he and i are going to do a collab where we do um what's it called uh oh where we do a a, a, a day in the life vlog yeah <laughs> look at him he got the xbox <laughs> jack are you streaming fortnite Apparently, my category is set to Fortnite. Um, hey, I do I do it all the time. All right, well, let. thank you for letting me know. Let's go to my creator dashboard on Twitter. You, you go ahead. Let me explain this. Go for it. Guys and gals, if there are any in here, probably not, but whatever. I say it anyway, just to be respectful. Look, we are now the proud owners of an original Xbox once again. And it's yes, actually sir. not bad. It's pretty clean. I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta clean it, like you know, I gotta clean the dust off the top. But like, as far as scratches, like, look at the front; it's not too bad. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. So, like, we were talking about consoles last last stream, and I said I was gonna do a segment on my channel about consoles, and I was not lying. I'm 100 percent serious. Are you, are you gonna make a YouTube video on it? Like, a I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it on like every console that I yes, ever owned. Sir. I'm gonna do all of them. Because why the hell not? I got that, and, and the only the only drawback to that system that I got, I found, I actually, guys, I found this at a local store. I was looking at them on eBay, and they're like, on eBay, apparently these, uh, the OG Xboxes are going for about 100 bucks. But in my local game store, they were selling it for 80, with a controller and all the cords. So I was like, I'm gonna do that. And then, uh, unfortunately, they only had the uh, the smaller controller with it, 
They didn't have the 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 massive one, the Duke, which is the one I really want. I like that controller a lot. So I, I ordered one of those two. So that's coming. Uh, and the game that I got with it is this guy right here. Anybody play this game before? No. Bro, this <laughs> was like, this is a really fun RPG game. You would actually like probably enjoy this game. You think it's a so? Little, it's a little dated because of how, you know, it's like if for the original Xbox. But what I got for the Xbox is this scaler. It's a, a cord that it, it converts it to be able to use an HDMI signal. Okay. Remember how like the old the old ones used like the component cables, the red, yellow, and uh, white, white one? Yeah. So it converts, it completely gets rid of that, and it plugs into the back of your Xbox, and it converts it into an HDMI. So you can use an HDMI cable That's and use bad. it with an HDTV now, and it is an upscaler. So oh, with higher it resolutions, it makes your Xbox look better, sharper, less like jaggy, less like... A lot of the original Xbox games had this thing where it looks like cloudy to me. It looks very, very blurry. But now it takes all that shit away. Jeez, I bet you're going to have so, a great time. Jack, I bought four or five of them already for all of the different consoles that I'm that I'm already getting. Yeah, you bought all of them already? Well, I already know. I, I like three of the cons, four of the consoles, I already have them. See, like... I've so kept I already, every so, single one except for the PSP. Well, I wish I would have. That's what I'm saying. I like <laughs> I. So I actually after last last podcast, I asked. So my cousin, I sold my PSP to him forever ago. I actually saw him at Christmas and I asked him about it and I was like, "Hey, do you still have this?" And he said, "He was like, it actually it broke. He was like, he was like, it actually died on him. So oh, like wow. it finally it finally just wore out and died. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. I'll just buy another one. So, yeah. But like the original the original Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. My sister has them, so like I don't even have to buy those. They are, they're already they're there. Crazy. I just I just gotta go get them. Um, and the and the scalar thing I'm talking about does it. You know, I'll show you. I'll show everybody. Let me let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Hold on. It's from this company called Pound uh, Technologies. Some of you guys in the chat may may want one of these. You never know. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna what do you call? It? I'm gonna I'm gonna educate you guys on a little bit of this stuff that I'll be showing on my channel here pretty soon. Let me, there we go. Let's show this real quick. This thing right here, it's called their HD link. So you can see like this little, ah. little guy right here. It takes the place of the actual connector that goes into the Xbox and then it converts it into an HDMI signal. And the best thing about this Jack is if you think about it, you know what you can do? You can record too. Oh yeah. I can yeah, put yeah, like yeah, my, yeah. I have, I have an X, you know, an X, I have a, what do you call it? An Avermedia. Uh, mm -hmm. Live Live Gamer Pro, that's HDMI. You just or or you know like an HD 60s from Elgato. You plug that in there as an intermediary, and you can record OG Xbox stuff without having to like you know screen screen record a TV and stuff. Well, now you have a great uh, couple of streams ahead of you playing o uh, original Xbox games. So I can I can act, I, I think it's actually possible. I could do that because like my HD signal over there, I could potentially just plug it into an xbox and stream that oh yeah no i definitely think that's and if that if that works like i'm gonna i'm gonna try it i think that's pretty cool but they don't just make it for the og xbox they make it for everything look i already have this one for the playstation 2 oh my god uh, they make one for the genesis i'm giving too much away i'm letting you guys know all the ones i all the the stuff i'm it doesn't matter whatever they have it for the dreamcast the snes the sega saturn you guys are going to like seeing that console. Jack knows nothing about that console. Nope. Yeah, dude, the Sega Saturn, man. It was sick. Don't, don't worry about it. You'll you'll see. You'll see. But yeah, these are these. When I found these, I like all of a sudden my mind went. Poof, I was like, oh, man. Well, I bet you were so excited. Oh, I was ecstatic, sure. dude. I was like, oh, oh, man. Now I'm really going to just dive deep into it. I'm going to buy all of my consoles that I ever wanted. I'm doing it or that I, mean, I that I used to have that I no longer have. But anyway, so that was a, that was a Christmas present to myself that I bought. Sounds like a, a lot good of that. One. A lot of that. Um, I also bought. Let me let me go to my eBay. Oh, I'm not gonna show anybody this, but I'll go to my eBay account. I bought some games and stuff too. I can't remember which ones I got. But um, got Star Wars Battlefront. I, I actually saw it. I saw Battlefront in the store. I oh, did you gotta at the. Get uh, it. In the uh, this the the what do you call it? My local store that I went. My it's it's like a game world. I think. 
Um, I'm telling you, you should give it a shot. It's so fun. Yeah. I know. I saw I saw somebody uh, that was in, I think, that company I just showed you. It was in their, like, test video. And apparently, like, their scaler makes Star Wars Battlefront look so much better. Sweet. I'm going to have to like, look it that was, up, honestly. It was, in there, it was in their video. I might have to buy just that uh, upscaler for my PlayStation 2 that I already have. Yeah. It looks like, like I said, it works with your PlayStation 2 as well. That's awesome. Yep. That's, I bought one of those already. Let me see. Um, I'm on my wrong eBay account. I think I am. Yeah, I am. Ricky's, I need to go on my Ricky's other, my other one. I have, I have like, I have like two, I have two eBay, eBay accounts. Yeah, he's too classy. He he, he needs two. eBay well, accounts. there was one I made with a different email, and then I made another one, and I, I think I just did it on accident. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. You'll buy, you'll buy an Xbox too, Josh. Hell yeah, dude, do it. Um, what does it say? It's trying to verify my account. What? Oh my God. They're really going to try to send me a security card code right now. Anyway, a security card, a security code to my phone. I got to use this code to log into eBay. Hey, at least it's secure. Think about that. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm not even typing. I hate when I do that. I'm not even typing. Sort of secure. Um, I got, I know one of them I got is, uh, did you ever play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, uh, Tony Hawk's Underground? Yes, I did actually. I got that one. Oh, okay. I got I that. that on, it was, it was pretty that cheap. On my PS, PS2, I think, so. Yep, that, that was on the uh, PS2 as well, yeah. I got it for Xbox, that's what I originally played it on. So for Xbox, I got, all right, you can probably guess which game I got already. I got Halo, Halo. Even I don't know why I bought these because I already own them on PC and I can play the new version of it. But I got Halo One, that's Tony the Hawk's, way to go. Under, Tony Hawk's yes. Underground, Halo Two because it came with another game that I got, which is Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls Three. Jack, you've never played this game. Oh my! Get uh, when was the first God of War come out? I don't even remember, that... dude. I have no idea. First God of War came out in 2005 for the PlayStation 2 console. So you, whenever you get, whenever you get it. Oh, do the PlayStation 2, I might have to get the God of War game. You got to get the original God of War. All right. Maybe I will. You definitely should. That. Maybe I, I will. Know people. You'd be down with it. Um, I gotta get Dynasty Warriors, dude. I used to love that game. Oh, yeah, I, I checked an online store here in the Philippines. The 6700 XT is a reasonable price here. Only 23,000 pesos is equivalent to 35. Okay. Okay. It's like, like yeah, I know. You're like the, that, the money, the number just seems so huge to, to us. But like, I guess American because it, yeah, it's it just, it just seems like a lot. But I think I guess it'd be like, pesos like was it like is it like two hundred thirty dollars? Is it similar to that? I think. Let's see, pesos to dollars. Would that be like two hundred thirty? Let me see. Hold on. Oh, I was looking at the uh, Mexican pesos, not the uh, Philippines. There we go. Four hundred and twelve United for a sixty-seven hundred XT. I think, yeah. That sounds about right, honestly. That like that you, definitely you could, is. You, yeah, you could get them on uh, like Black Friday. I remember for like for a lot under that, but like right now, I think that's normal. I think that's pretty normal. Yeah. Let's. So it's actually pretty. Check. It's not too bad at all. Sixty-seven hundred XT on Amazon here. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, four nineteen. Uh. Yeah, it looks like that is about the exact same price as a. Uh, I'm telling you though that uh, MSI uh, 6650 XT is still here for three hundred and twenty nine dollars. I mean, yeah, three twenty nine, three twenty nine is like what it should be. I'm pretty, or it's it's still it's still a little bit cheaper than it should be. Yeah, it's on but, sale twenty five percent. So yeah. No, um, but but what I would tell but I would tell people is I think I see the sixty six the regular sixty six hundred XT. Oh. You can get it for two eighty nine, 
I would, or two, and maybe it's even less than that. I would tell people to just get that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's it's way less, and the a little bit of extra performance you're going to get from the 6650 is like, eh. It's marginal, like 5 to 10 FPS maybe, not even. Yeah. Uh, For that money, and it's like you'll save a lot of money in the long run, so. Yeah, no, but I'm seeing... up to you guys, but... I'm seeing the price, like the lowest I see is uh, 389 Mm -hmm. and the highest price yeah let me see like on new egg let me see what is uh here you know might as well might as well share this with everybody let's just do that since we're shopping oh look at this ebay tech miss seasons savings final final savings yeah i, I know right let me uh 6600 like, is... xt i know they're like like hurry up buy stuff now this one right here is, is it good 6700 xt absolutely Buy this one. Bam. He wants to play 4K. So and you get and you get two games. Well, not 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 him. Not him. I'm just saying, if you're picking between this and the 6650, buy this one. Yeah. Right now, right now. A little while ago, the 6650, you could get it for 250 on eBay or not on eBay, but on uh on Amazon for Black Friday. Now that was a deal. But yeah, 6700 6, XT should be able to play games at 4K, I believe. I think uh, it's getting to it. I don't think it's like meant for it. I think that's a more 1440p card, but I think you can do it. Yeah. But you're going to be looking at like 40 to 60, I think. Somewhere in there, I believe. So 40 to 60 FPS. Let's see what they got on Newegg for those. Uh, I'll check the... Uh... 369, 389... It seems like, dude, here's a 339 for a 6700 XT. Golly. See what I'm saying? Oh, it's an, it's an open crazy. box. Open box, but, I mean, come on. It's pretty good. Uh, In terms uh, here, of, let's see. Yo, there is an, uh, the mech right there again. Mm -hmm. For 329, um, open box. Now, this is this is pretty interesting. Um, Just so, because uh, I know... Uh, Michael is asking about the 6700 XT, and if I believe correctly, he said it was for 1440p gaming, correct? If it's for 1440p, back. then you're yes. going to be doing just fine. Yeah, so You'll be doing great. You, I would compare the 6700 XT to a 3070. It is like within that 5-10% margin on everything. 1080p, 1440p, and even 4K. I'm looking at benchmarks for Call of Duty Warzone Yep. on the highest quality at 1440p. It's averaging um, 117 FPS, and the 3070 is averaging 126. Yeah, and like um, at that, at that, if you were to get that open box one I just showed at that 329 price point, price even just stepping up to the 6800, the next step up, you're mm -hmm. looking at 500 bucks. That's the lowest price. I mean, even playing at least on here. Yeah, even playing this card at 4K, you're getting over 60 FPS on yeah. average. Um, so if that's and if that's the kind of experience you're looking for, then you're gonna get it. Like, oh yeah, absolutely. Boom. So yeah, no, definitely 6700 XT. I would, dude. Uh, I would, I would go to, I would go to Newegg and get the and snap these up before they're gone. 329 for that is actually pretty dope. That's not a absolutely. bad price. Oh my and goodness, it's open it's, box. So I mean, I I don't know what that means for Newegg. I know for Amazon. Amazon, how about that? Let's check that then. 4K and 60 FPS, yeah, no, so you can that 60s, and that's just off of playing Call of Duty Warzone at the absolute Ooh, wait a highest settings possible. So, oh no, never mind. if you drop the quality a little bit, probably to like a higher medium setting, and then at 4K, you're gonna just gain FPS even more. So, yeah, no, definitely, it's uh, it's a good card. It's Keegan, hi. Keegan, that is my sister for everybody that knows <laughs> she was watching. She has been watching the stream. So she is. Oh, hey. <laughs> a, heavy, a heavy supporter. Heavy supporter. Love it. Love it. Love it. I know. She was the gamer. Wait, wait, Jack, check this out. What gamer AMD. <laughs> what is this? Is that a fake? It, it's either that or it's a uh, just one out of a pre-built. That they're but, reselling. No, but that. I've never seen it with green. Uh, it's a green, a green, a green PCB like that. Yeah, I have no idea. Check the reviews. Yeah. Uh, there's one review, and I wouldn't trust it. 
What what does it say though? I have no idea. Like, I didn't look. Hold on. You definitely oh. should. Nothing. It's just a re rating. It's only a four star too. It's not even a five. If somebody's like, I didn't like the color. <laughs> There's one for three eighty nine, I believe, for an XT right here. Oh yeah, that's the it's one I was looking at. It's yeah. A speedster, yeah, yeah, for three eighty nine on on Amazon. That I mean, that's new, so that's that's kind of cool. You don't got to buy an open box one if you don't want to. Yeah, so no, definitely sixty seven hundred XT is definitely the way to go if you're wanting mm -hmm. similar performance to a, because uh, that's even cheaper than a thirty sixty Ti. It is. It's, more, it's it's cheaper and it's more performance. I think it's better actually. Yeah, it I is. think you're right. Yeah, it is. Uh, I can go to GPU benchmark real quick. Let's look at. Yeah, 30 I'm pretty 60, sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. And 6700 XT. Oh, 3060 Ti actually beats it by 10. It that's. Uh, I I I, I would put some wiggle room on it because. Yeah, it depends. That, I thought, if I'm correct, the 6600 XT was the uh, competitor for it. Uh, it could be even be the 6750. There's a 6750 as well. Okay, okay. Uh, but I don't know. Here. I'm not sure which one it was. Yeah, because most of the time, whenever I pulled up the benchmark for the 6700 XT, it was being mm -hmm. compared to a 3070 on pretty much every single, um, every single video. So. Gotcha. Well, either way, uh, either way, it's a good card, and you're going to be fine. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to be fine. Um, uh, let's see. Holy crap. Uh, Jack, we got to, we got to, we got to move on. We got, we got, we got, we have games to play. Hold on. Oh, All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I remember there was a thing we wanted to talk about tonight. And it is Christmas related. Tell the people about the the build you did. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Talk okay, about okay, it. Talk okay. about your build because um, I'll, I'll go into my stuff afterwards. Perfect. Um. So one of the things I wanted to do for Christmas was build my sisters and my dad a PC that they could game on because I don't know if y'all can tell, but this is what they were playing games on: a PS4 and a really old TV. This is literally what they were playing on right here. So, you know, I had to hook it up for him. I brought over a gaming monitor. I brought them over the I Love V keyboard, actually. Nice. And a Logitech G502 cool. as the peripherals. And then they got this headset that they will be keeping here. Uh, but the PC itself is an absolute beast. I'll tell you what, the from them going from a PlayStation to this, it blows everything out of the water. I got a Ryzen 5 3600. It's a 6412 nice. thread, obviously. And yep. a in a uh, 2080 uh in here with 16 gigs of ram at 3200 megahertz 2080 i still got one too <laughs> i know like i mean literally it was absolutely it was so funny my uh my oldest sister uh she plays a lot of fortnite and things like that and mm -hmm. I, her first game when she sat down she was like I, I set it to the absolute highest settings possible and it, she, it was like over you know like 140 fps and on this new monitor she was like yeah. It feels so smooth, and I was it's like, because, yeah. yeah. It's like, welcome to the PC Master Race. Ah, uh, there you go. I was hoping you were gonna say that. Yeah. Welcome to the PC Master Race. Enjoy it here. Enjoy it. You're gonna like it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I can't that's wait. That's awesome. Though. Yeah, that's but, awesome. Did they, so they did they actually game on it and try it out and everything already? Um, everybody but my dad. My dad. Everybody but your dad. Okay. He, he's gonna be playing more games like Call of Duty, uh, Warzone, about that? Yeah. and we okay. got Tarkov. We got Tarkov for him. So will he will he play Tark? Will he play Tarkov? I, I'm gonna try and get him to yes. Yeah. He's, he's, he plays a lot of NHL hockey. Okay. On the PlayStation. But I told him I said you will have a much better time playing it on the PC. Yeah. Um, because NHL hockey they use the same servers. It's not like basketball yeah. or anything. Yeah. But um, I told him I was like you're gonna love it. It's so much easier than on a PlayStation and it looks a lot better and it yeah. just feels better. I was like and you can still use a controller if you and want you can to. Still use, yeah, I literally told him yeah. I said you can hook that controller up right here and just, it'll just hook it up to your PC fine. and use it. Yeah. So yeah, no, they are they are very excited and it's got RGB. Nice. Obviously, it has to have yep. RGB. So. I mean, it adds 10 FPS. We all know that. It adds 10 FPS. It does. I mean, you see how much extra FPS I've got. <laughs> Ricky doesn't have to worry about it. 
No, I have lots of. I look. I I turn that on to for extra extra Christmassy ex RGB this time. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, do you play Doom Eternal? Yes, I played a lot of that game. I didn't beat it. I never finished it fully, but I, I wish I would have because that games are a lot of fun. I I still use it to benchmark PCs, though, because it's a very, very like easy game to benchmark because it runs on anything. It's like and it's really, really nice. Very nice experience. Yeah, it's a great it's a it's just it's a smooth, like very athletic feeling game. You can just you know, Absolutely, fly yeah. around and just kill things. It's like very, very nice. And the graphics look great when you turn them up. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and honestly, I think I'll be honest. I don't think they have you... RTX now. Did you know that? I do. They added do RTX, RTX to it. And but I, I tried it. Did you, were you there on stream when I tried it? I don't think so. Was oh, when it... I tried Well, I, well, it was with, it wasn't with a, an NVIDIA GPU though. It was with the, uh, the 6650. Oh, no. I tried oh, no. to turn RTX on and it went from like, I think I was getting like 135 FPS, maybe 140 to like 30. Like I couldn't oh, even God. play the game. Well, it's because I mean those cards are not made for that. Not that. I mean, one I know, but like, yeah. okay, here's here's what I say, especially for games like that and like solo yeah. player games. For me, I want it. I want it to look the absolute best. I can mm -hmm. give you a great example. Uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Whenever I yeah. played that on my PC for the first time, that's, that's I made that yeah. thing the absolute highest graphics quality, and I capped my FPS at 60 FPS. Because RPG games and stuff like that, and like Souls games like that, is wasn't Dark Souls? Uh, no, not Dark Souls. I'm sorry. Uh, Elden Ring wasn't it capped at 60 anyway? I don't. I, I think it was at first. It's not anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But yes, it was because. So I thought. Because they wanted people to enjoy it for the graphics that they spent so much time on. Mm -hmm. so. And the, I mean, it makes sense. Like the, you're supposed to enjoy the way the world looks and everything like that and that's like when i play games like that that's what i do too i i completely just turn everything to max and like try to get it like cyberpunk for instance like yeah, that yeah, yeah. i turn it up as high as i can while just hitting 60 at 1440p or I, I mean i still go above it because of the 38 ti ha i have but like i turn everything like i don't turn rtx on though because rtx just makes it like it you, good it, no. it's not it doesn't make it look so much better that like you know i have to have it yeah. But, um, now, do you think Harry, the new Harry Potter will cap it at sixty? I don't know, but I don't know. But like, it, no, it, I feel like they have to go to one twenty because this because game is basically game. made yeah. for a PlayStation. Yeah. So I, I think I wouldn't be surprised if they cap it at one twenty. Weird. Weird. Um, no, I, like, I think it. I, like, I'm sitting right here, at PlayStation. I uh, even realize it. Yeah. Weird. Uh, send me a PS five. <laughs> send me <laughs> dude apparently okay so there was a funny thing that i that i learned about that uh there is a like a couple of like uh exclusive things for that game that you can only get if you play it on a ps5 yeah there's like a couple of things there's like this liquid luck thing which like reveals all these special chests for a whole day you only get heck? it by playing the game on a ps5 i'm like what well, here you go, Ricky. Ricky's like, all right, here, take five hundred dollars. I'm not buying a PS5 for that. <laughs> no way. I'm not doing it. He says that now. Just wait till the. No, game I comes like. Out. Okay, like I said, I said like I'm buying these older consoles because they're different. The current gen consoles are exactly what I have right here. They're exactly the same, other we'll than see. they're they're we they're less see. functional. They're less functional. I do actually have a funny story for you based off of like I I, I saw your ad rolls for um, Gamer Eyewear Advantage. Okay. Yeah. I saw a bunch of the glasses at um, Best Buy and I was like, oh, where? I was like, where's Ricky? We need Ricky to get like one of I'm those. Not on the, yeah, no, no. What, I'm not we, on the. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not on the. I'm not on that marketing yet. <laughs> we we need to get you on like one of those like you know, people cutouts or at least you yes. on the box and you're like. Yes. Holding, I should holding. just be like, like. Yes. Eh. Yeah, like these are the gamer. I was doing this in the in the picture they used. I was going like, I was like being all. <laughs> that was what I used in my thumbnail because I was just being stupid. And I and like they asked us, uh, like they asked us in our our uh, our partner chat if we would send photos of us wearing our glasses. They wouldn't tell us what it was for. It was just for something they were gonna do, uh, every, you know, soon. And I so I sent that over because I already had it. I was like I already made it the thumbnail of my video. So I was like, ah, just whatever, take it. Um. And then, yeah, it turns out they put it on their. Uh, you, did you see what ha what they actually did with it? No, I never did. I saw your uh, video thumbnail. Look. look. Hey, look, see, there he is. They put That's me perfect. on the front. They put me on the front of the website. Like when you first get there, like 
see? That's what you see. That <laughs> Ricky's like, you see me. No, no, no. I didn't know that. I, I saw, I thought I was in an ad that like you see on Instagram and stuff because someone sent it to me. But yeah. then I went to their website when I was like linking this thing today. And I was like, what the f I was like, I didn't know I was on the front page of the website too. <laughs> see, there you go. But whatever. He's I'll like, I'm here. I'm ready. He's like, buy, buy more glasses, everyone. Buy them. You need them. They're good for okay. your eyes. Look, okay. they're I'm so great. Not gonna lie. Anyway, I bought this for me. Hold on. Okay. All right. These were all guys also while Jack's gone. These, these weren't a Christmas present either. They sent me these for free. Okay. Well, I didn't buy this. I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm sorry. I did not get gamer eyewear advantage. You got gunners. Uh, uh, hold on. What's the brand name on this? Uh, Enigma. Enigma? I don't know, man. Like I just bought. <laughs> what are what are they? They're blue light glasses. All right. I I look awful in them, but like I'm... I wear them late at night. So, but I'm so hurt. I'm just I know, gonna... Ricky. Okay, to be fair, these I'm were kidding, I don't care. <laughs> these were thirty dollars. I know these are very expensive. Like the ones and that I... I'm wearing, they're like 120 oh, bucks. I know. I know. I I literally was about to buy. I literally was like grabbing them, and then I was looking at the price tag, and it was like yeah. 130, and I was like, oh. They're Impressive. yeah, I know, I know. They're they're that's the, that's the hard sell for some for for oh. a lot. Well, not for some, for a lot of people is like they're they are really expensive, but they're. Uh, I can tell you right now, they last a very long time, and can they're they're really. Yeah, no, it's not so. focusing. These are, these are gunner. They are. Oh, you did it! You actually got them. They were well, thirty dollars. You know hey, okay, well, <laughs> wear them, wear them while you game, and tell them, tell me if they actually do anything for you. There you go. Okay, the one thing I'm gonna, I, I like, you can probably see it right now. Anyway, look at your eyes. The reflection. You, no, do you see how yellow you look? Yeah. These don't do that. I know. Everything yeah. else looks yellow as well. A little bit. It changes. Yeah, the color you're gonna. The you're going to literally have. It looks like you have a yellow filter over your eyes. These don't do I that. I know. I know. That's the reason why these are expensive. It's not only because of their frame, but the lens technology they use is like way now, better than everybody else. And I'm not just saying that because I endorse them. I'm saying that because I've tried them all before. Look, I will. I, I will tell you ones. right now. I have these. I, I, what, spy, spy eyewear. They make like, you know, snowboard goggles. I actually use those still. They're really nice. They sent me these too. And look at the color. Look the what, yellow. look what you see. There's that. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. There's, but wait, there's more. Hold on. These were the first ones I ever got. These ones are actually not that bad, but the, the HyperX ones, mm -hmm. these are the first blue light blockers I ever got. But these, they're not comfortable to wear. They are for say, a little bit, but not. They're very stiff. I have to. Um, after a while, oh, I have to yeah. like get them off of the actual headset. Like I have to lay it on top right here. Yeah, these. So never have to worry about it. You know why? Because so, they flex. Now, uh, Ricky, I'll talk to you later. But you know, you, you know, you could just like hook me up. You know, <laughs> and, uh, if I honestly do, like, if I had, if I had, uh, if I had an extra pair, I would just give you one. But I. I oh don't. no! Don't worry about it. But like, no, this definitely. Sent me once I save. This is the only pair I wear. What once I save up, I probably will be using that discount code you got. So ah, you don't, don't have worry. to. You don't have to. Don't worry about it. I know. I know they're expensive. They really are. I look. I can't say anything. I can't say crap because I got them for free. I never paid for them. So like, exactly. <laughs> I never bought them. But yeah, I will tell you, and my wife will tell you. I wear them literally every day. I really do. Well, that's good. That's, that, that's I wear them all the time because well, good. I also have my prescription in them too. So like you know, mm -hmm. everything looks better when I'm wearing them. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna just leave them on. Why not? But yeah. Anyway, so okay, you wait. Hold on, back on track. You were talking about your dad, your parent. You are, did you already get through your PC? That you, yep. you made for them. Okay, let me talk about mine, and then we can kind of wrap things up here. Um. So guys, not only did Jack build a PC for his family, I. Well, I didn't build one, but I I gifted that. If you guys remember, I did a, a video on the, you know what? Oh, no, I just bring it up. Hold on. What is it called? The HP TG01, I think it's called. You guys might remember this as soon as I showed the picture. Hold on. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. 
did a whole video series on this. Um, it's on. It's it's it costs five seventy eight right now. But you guys in the video, I got it for like three eighty, I think, because it was a yeah, um, I know it was a uh, a steal of a deal. Um, but yeah, so I got this. I did a bunch of content on it, and then my dad was over one day while I was messing around with it. And he was like, "Hey, your mom and I need a new PC. Uh, what are you doing with that one?" And I was like, "Actually, nothing." I was just going to, you know, sell it. And he was like, all right, well, I'll buy it from you. And I was like, okay. So, I mean, of course, you know, gave him the family discount and everything. But, uh, you know, he offered to pay for it and uh, it was all good. And so, I took I took that over to their house and I replaced the freaking PC that they had been using since, I think, 2011 or 2012 that I built them myself. This was like... I think the second PC I ever bought, I built in my entire life. It was after my own. And I built one for them. Because I was like, I built, oh, I built one PC. I can build PCs for everyone now. So I actually have it right here. Do you guys want to see how bad it is? Do you guys want to see this? Here. Might as well show it. It's here. Hold on. Yes. Check this out. Yes. Chat, we got we to gotta roast him on his PC building. Oh, it's heavy. For no reason. Hold on. It's dusty. You already see the dust. It's dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. Talk about cable. So, management. hey, hey, don't judge the cable management, all right? There's actually, oh, I, in this case, there's nowhere to put them. I this doesn't have just... a, there's no back panel place to put cables. I didn't think that through when I built it, okay? Cable yeah. Ties. But look at the graphics card. You know what? I've been doing arms. I could actually, like, lift this one. Oh, God, it's heavy. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I can't hear you, Jack. One second. Oh, no. <laughs> hold on. No. Oh, God. It's pretty bad. I know. It's bad. Um, Yeah. So, guys, this thing had... That thing has... It's an FX. An AMD FX. Yes. Taking it back. To an FX 4100. 4100? I thought it was a 4300. I wrote that in our notes, Jack, but it was actually a 4100, not even a 4300. Oh, no. Yeah. And the graphics card in there, I actually, this was actually better than I thought. It was a 6770. Oh, he's like, it's better. It's better. It's better. It's just, it's just a 6700. An HD 6770 that was in there. So, okay. So I built this specifically to be an office PC, even back then. So they didn't really need much. So like it kind of made sense. But the case I gave them and OK, I got I got to show you guys this because it made me laugh when I realized what I did. All I right, was the worried case, about first the stuff. It is too big. It makes zero sense for what's in it. I could have got given them such a small, uh, even way smaller case. And, and it would have made sense because they're not using like any of the front space. Of this case, none of it. Do you guys see the power supply down there? Can you see it? Yeah. Is it reflecting too much? No, Which way is the fan it's... facing? Oh, it's uh, Ricky. No, it's facing up. Why? Yeah. And what does this Why? have on the bottom? Oh. It has a it has a filter and everything. And I didn't put my fan downward. Yeah, I know. Fail. Big like, fail oh, yes. on my part. I can I can definitely build PCs. Yeah, yeah, I can I can build PCs now. Um, but yeah, eight gigs of RAM and. A four, I mean, a four core processor and a 6770. So I upgraded them to not only an NVMe SSD for their boot drive, which is 500 gigs now instead of the. They, so I did upgrade this over the years. I upgraded it to a uh, a uh, Samsung SSD, but it was like a 256 just for a boot drive. So now they have a 500 gigabyte SSD as their boot drive uh, and they have a Ryzen 3 5300G and an RX 5500. Which, my Is dad be playing Tarkov with us. <laughs> I think it actually can play Tarkov. I think yeah! I tried it. I think it, I, it actually can <laughs> run Tarkov if you want to. Um, oh, and then they have a what is it? I, I think they, just, they only have eight gigs of RAM, but I you, I added sixteen when I tested it because that's what everybody has. Um, but uh, my dad actually wants to play Microsoft Flight Simulator because he's learning to fly planes. And he has the whole, you know, the joysticks, the, the the yoke, all the stuff, all the whatever, the whole console thing to set up a flight simulator. So he's going to be able to do that. So I told him, hey, if the, the RX 5500 is not enough, uh, give it to me. I'll put it in a budget PC and I'll give you a better graphics card because I have plenty of them. 
Well, yeah. most of the time I do. I'll just, I'll well, find them one. That's awesome. Either way, that's yeah. awesome. Yep. Yeah. So then now they have a uh, nice and snappy PC to do all their office work on. Honestly, my mom usually uses it to do their taxes and like to do all their office crap. But now they can actually do what they need to do. And uh, the PC. Oh, more. the main problem with the other the other one is it like wouldn't boot fast for some reason. And I, I kind of solved that problem for him anyway. But like now their PC boots up in like five seconds, you know, five to ten seconds. So, it. yeah. Oh, they, they love it. it. Yeah. Well, and then their their overall operating system is just snappier. Like Windows 11 is just a lot snappier for them. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Especially for I, what I, they're I just, doing. I know. I know. And I, I had to sit down with them. Of course, I sit down with my mom, hook up her. She actually got a, uh, a mechanical keyboard, too. She, uh, she, hey. she bought one with blue switches. And I lovely. R.I.P. Clicky. I know. Very clicky. clicky. Very cl- R.I.P. to my dad because he's going to be in the office hearing that. Uh, but. I had to hook that up for her and set her and tell her how to use the Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff. And then uh, kind of tell them like, hey, this is your boot drive. This is what the programs you put on here. This is your mass storage drive. These are what you put. This is the stuff you put on here. Like I had to go through that whole spiel with them again. Oh, yeah. But now they're educated and now they know what to do. So Perfect. there you go. Perfect. Yep. Now they know what's, what's going on. So So basically, Jack and I were kind of like you know, tech Santa's to our families. Oh, absolutely. I, I yep. can't tell you how many tech things I've fixed. I fixed uh, parental controls, Apple watches and mm-hmm. smartphones and everything. It comes to the territory, man. It really does. Hey, it, it really it's does. Fine. It's fine. Yep. Well, uh, honestly, if you are ready, how does I am. gaming sound? Gaming sounds great. All right. So if you, if you would like to help close it out, we will, uh, if you yeah. don't mind, we'll take like a 10, 15 minute break for a second so I can go do something yeah. and then yeah. you can start it back up. Uh, just oh, so everybody knows good. on my end, I will not be streaming it because obviously I'm on a new computer. I don't have my OBS overlays and everything like that. Mm-hmm. I think if I'm correct, you're going to be streaming on your gaming channel. I'm actually going to stream on the normal channel tonight because on the normal channel. Because we're going to make it sort of tech related because we're kind of going to test and see how even a 3080 Ti can do against the new Tarkov map. Because it is, shall I say, difficult to run. Do you want me to tell you how a 2080 runs? I can give you mine. How does it run? I haven't played it yet. That's what oh, I'm I haven't even like. Okay, okay, okay. I literally yes. haven't even booted it. Yes, yet. So I would like to come. I, I would like to know. compare and see what you're okay. getting versus what my 3080. We have. We kind of have to figure out our settings and, and whatnot when we get into it. But yeah, we'll we'll do that together. Don't worry. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it dialed. Everybody on my end, I'll make a ping on my Discord uh, with a link to Ricky's channel. That's where we will be streaming tonight. Is through his channel. So everybody go give love and support and chat in there tonight. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll be we'll be we'll probably yeah take what you say like 10, 10, 15, and then we'll we'll get started mm-hmm. as as soon as we can. Um, and then Absolutely. honestly, we'll probably be talking to you guys quite a bit because uh, the loading times for raids right now are pretty bad. So I I bet they are. But I mean, if you're if if you're ready, I'm ready to get some. Oh, I want I want to at least try Tarkov. a few raids. Like I want I want to. Yeah. I already did, I I already did one. I didn't tell you. I already, I, might, I already did one raid today. I might be playing a lot tonight. I'm not gonna lie because I want to get back into Tarkov. And the problem with always like playing it was like I didn't start on day one. Yeah. Here I actually get to. Yeah. I might be able to actually keep up this time. Yep. You gotta so. you gotta start and you just got. I mean, it's not it's not even a matter of keeping up. It's a matter of like just like keeping your reps up in the game itself like knowing what to do all the time like having your muscle memory on your like your the correct buttons of like knowing what to press in high stretch situations and tasks. it's all about that it's all that's what that making game is making sure you're up yep. making sure you're up on tasks is a big thing as well mm-hmm. oh the tasks so. are different now too by the way they changed it like all the tasks Thank are locked goodness. behind different things now it's like they yeah they changed it not gonna so. lie I, I like that better yeah so we're, we're gonna have to like figure all that out but anyway, guys, perfect. Thank you so much for everybody coming and hanging out with us. We really appreciate it. Um, we love doing this this tech stream. So if you guys do as well, like the stream, uh, like our go go to Jack's channel, show him some love too, and check out his videos and whatnot. Um, so that way we can keep doing this for you guys because honestly, it's just something we like to do. So um, with that, Jack, anything else you want to add? Thank you all so much for watching. That's pretty much it. All right, and guys, again. Can't thank you guys enough. But anyway, we're going to get out of here. You guys have a great rest of your 
uh, day, afternoon, night, wherever you may live. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace, everybody. Bye.